All right. So I am here with Daniel right now. He and I have been working together for just a little bit. And I guess we're just going to talk about what it's been like working with me. So um, can you share just a little bit about who you are and then why you why you came to me or like what how we got started? Yeah, sure. So um, crazy story. Um, I reached out to uh, 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 a co um, uh I reached out to some acquaintance of Chris um, through a podcast, uh, getting through divorce. Her name was Julia Danielson. And um, I was really struggling getting over my divorce through this time. And I was in a relationship with other, another person. Um, through that, she put me um, in touch with Chris because I felt like I needed um, some connection with the, with the male figure. I had a lot of experiences with female figures. And I just wanted to something different. But at the time, um, I was kind of uh, skeptical of, you know, paying the, the amount. And, um, and I, I turned down Chris the first time. Um, and then eventually um, that relationship that I was in went south um, because I can never get on my divorce, right? And, um, you know, I came to Chris and I was like, Chris, I need, I need to make a change in my life. Um, I need some help. Um, I need to change my mindset. I need to, um, I need to get in a better place. Um, so, you know, um, I, you know, basically two failed relationships. Um, and I was like, I was looking in the mirror and I was like, what's wrong with Daniel? And so, um, you know, I hit up Chris and we started talking. Um, and, you know, when I first, when I was first talking, talking to Chris, I was such in a low place. Um, I was beating myself up, pulling a lot of regret. Um, I was trying, trying to think about all the ways to get my ex back. Um, and throughout time, um, I, knew, I noticed that that door kind of shut, um, um, not by my doing, but I think just the way things worked out. And, um, you know, Chris helped me find myself again. Um, he helped me imagine the person that I wanted to become, the person that I want to step into. Um, it's, been a, it's been a long process, a hard process. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, Chris and I have been around like a month and a half in and I can already see a difference within myself. Um, and so, you know, with that being said, you know, I'm, I'm very confident on where I'm going to direct the trajectory um, for my life and my relationships. Um, I'm starting through Chris, you know, I'm starting to learn how to show up, um, how to be present in the relationship and how I really want a relationship to look like, um, you know, and like, he just helped me like flip the switch. Um, you know, for a while I was acting in scarcity, um, think about my past and now, um, he's helped me look at things in abundance and I'm noticing, I'm noticing a lot of positive things happening in my life now. And, um, and through this, through this all, Chris has helped me find myself, which has been the most important thing um, anyone could ask for. Um, okay. Yeah. So. Hey, I really appreciate that. Okay. So I want to focus on, um, so we were having kind of similar sessions and then we did something a little bit different last time we spoke. Do, do you remember how that session was a little bit different than before? Um, a little bit. Um, <laughs> I noticed, a little bit. <laughs> I noticed. I noticed that you. Um, I noticed how I shoot. I, sh I showed up to the session, right? Yeah. Video of me, and how I responded to things. And uh, in the, you know, it's like a. Uh, it was like a. It's just a reflection, of you know the really like the person that I saw and I didn't like, and um, and that ever since then, um, through that session that we had. It's like a light switch. Yeah. So how did you show up today? When we showed up on the call today, first off, <laughs> big smile. There's a lot going on. And then how, so you went from really having a hard time fixated on this one woman to you were speaking with like four different women in the last weekend. Yes. Like, and, and it sounds like a lot has shifted too of even just being kind of hung up on the X versus where you're at right now yeah got it yeah. okay 
So what do you see for your relationships and your dating life moving forward? And then just, I guess, your own personal life. Um, for my relationships going forward, I just see um, uh, my standards, what I want versus what I don't want. Um, you know, using past relationships, not as regret and shame, but as learning experiences. And I think that's what you taught me the most through that. And, um, and you know, once, once you let go of something, um, everything that you want is coming into your life. And, um, and I just appreciate you helping me find that. Yeah. It, I mean, I have had a blast working with you and we're, and we're still going to continue to work together. Um, and what I think is really cool is now this shift towards the future and what's possible for you. And, um, I just want to acknowledge you for being an awesome client for showing up and, and doing the work and just saying, all right, let's make this happen. And, um, yeah, so anyhow, thank you. And, what what recommendations would you have for for any i guess guy who's got some sort of dating situations like if they're trying to make a decision of whether to to get coaching um or not um so i know that you know the financial um commitment can be um a little um it can be it can be tough it can be um you know you don't want to commit to it um, but I just want to say it has been worth it. Um, you know, Chris is committed to you. He's committed to the process of helping you get to where you want to be. And um, I looked at it as an investment in myself. And if you look at it that way, um, I think that's money well spent. And, um, and, and I've been through therapy. Um, and therapy has been helpful in discovering um, what my past and why the way I am, but also coaching, coaching really helps you move forward and how to navigate the relationships that you want and um, how to show up properly for the next thing. And so I'm excited for where things are going for me. Um, I know good things are coming. Um, and, you know, there, you know, I wish Chris could just, you know, show the first video, you know, that me, <laughs> me and him started talking versus this one. Um, or even last week. Uh, so it's been a radical shift. And uh, I told him today, I was like, you're going to notice a shift in me. And, uh, I really feel it. And, um, you know, if you're on the fence of not making a financial commitment, like I said earlier, look at it as a commitment or a um, self investment. And in the long run, it'll be worth it and get it will get you the results that you want. Sweet. I appreciate everything. And um, yeah, I think that's about everything. Thanks a lot, Daniel. No problem, Chris.